Are you ready for something magical? Are you ready for something full of love, joy, laughter, intrigue, and pigeons? Well, then you're in luck, because we're going to justify my purchase that me, as a grown adult man, uh, made in the PlayStation Store sale months ago. We're going to play Hateful Boyfriend, the game developed by Metatonic Inc. and published by, of course, Indie Sweetheart Devolver Digital, because they can't do anything wrong at all, can they? Now, we're going to jump into a new game. Uh, no, that changes the language. Don't press square. But this is a this is a dating sim with uh, with pigeons, which surprisingly is actually a fairly common subgenre in Japan. Uh, not here though. This is all we got here, unfortunately. But you never know. After this game, the industry could just set off to a boom. Or oh, wouldn't that be right? Pigeons everywhere. Uh, welcome to Sent Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. Right. Uh, we're going to be sad. Man. He's sad man okay. I don't, I, don't know. I don't know how to answer that. That's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a tricky question, isn't it? We'll let the, the psychiatrist and psychologist decide that once I've done with this game. Okay, let's just get right into it. Uh, yes, for the sake of the argument, yes, he is okay. Hateful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits. Well, how else am I going to fall in love with one of these beautiful pigeons without seeing what they look like as humans first, right? So, yeah, of course. Configuration saved. Sent Pigeon Nations, a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. So I'm a, I'm a pigeon too, of course, right? Like, I'm a bird too. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh... I should probably say this school was known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, 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 the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, and even sports all come to St. Pigeon Nations. Teaching staff and student body are both made up of diverse blend of birds and different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. So, wait, so I'm not a bird? It's a long story. Oh, well, I've got, I've got time to uh, listen to that story, please. Uh, I'm, I'm very intrigued by that and uh, left speechless because school's weird enough going to it like being a person, right, and meeting people your age. Imagine going into a school being like the social outcast because you are a different species to the rest of the people. Like, what are, are these birds like mutant birds that have taken over the human race or something? I don't understand. Uh, not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ah, uh, it's Raida, everybody's favourite pigeon. Usually, you'd have been ready an hour by now, sad. I overslept. Oh, there he is. Uh, I, I like him better as a bird, his red eyes are scaring me. Very much so. He looks like he's he looks like he has the, the the red eyes out of Death Note, but that's getting too meta. Uh, he's barely hatched. I've known him since his hatch. That's just weird. He can be a little mysterious, but he's responsible and kind. Uh, breakfast was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. So, so wait, I have to catch my own breakfast. Then food is that my like? Do I eat rats like the pigeons or something? I don't understand. Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. Uh, I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. Now, Raida, this is how we got the bird flu the first time, okay? And you're either part of the solution or part of the problem. And I think I know which one you are right now. I might take you up on an offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Raida. Oh, the bell. Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers. No good being late on the first day. Oh, yes. The, the frills. And so Rhoda pulled me into school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to adjust to the atmosphere last year. It was better make up for all that lost fun. With all the, the birds and yay. And hateful boyfriend. The most splendid and greatest academy. Oh, for pigeon. 
buy the pigeon and pull the picture. I think we're in uh, 2 3, right? We're in the same class again. Yay! Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to a formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, every. every bird. every birdie. Oh my god, what the fuck? <laughs> I can't even. I'm having a fever dream. Okay, hello, pigeon, uh, bird, quail. I. Uh, uh, um, Neaki Kazuki, I seem to be a teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics and also some other things. Z, 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 Z. So, wake up, it's homeroom. Yeah, Jesus. He sleeps with his eyes open? Oh, he looks like an alright guy. You know, the, the pigeon looks a bit fucking shifty, but he looks fine. Uh, this quail is. Nanaki Kazuki is famously sephoric maths professor. I heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently, he's well known as a mathematician, just goes to show great minds from all forms. Ah, sorry, isn't it a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Sharagain. Whoa, that's a, that's a pretty bird. Yeah, this uh, bird is obviously fancy, so I'm going to put on my fancy voice. What's the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do you not think I'm here because I wish to be? Oh, well, that's that. Hey, hey, that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just break the rules like that, sir. This system will collapse and we'll all turn into colics and dissentators. What does that even mean? Like, he's a bird. What did he do with the rest of the humans? I'm more intrigued about the backstory of this universe and putting than the actual story put in front of me. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, sure again? Mm. Sure again, Le Bel Shakua. Oh, he looks like a fucking asshole, too. It seems this fan tale is sure again, Shakua. His feathers would make any, any birdie proud. He's one of those birds that, like, would shit on your car and just wouldn't say sorry about it or anything. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. I don't. Shakuya sits down, glaring daggers that are either in me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Uh, anyway, lunch already. Today's slipping by so quickly. Yes, and in saying that, uh, my PlayStation light is glowing a sickly color of pink. Uh, I am going to call it a day here because this fever dream can only go on for so long without me needing to go and splash my face with cold water to check I'm not dreaming. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. And to remember everybody, <laughs> I'm not proud of myself for saying that. Remember everybody, uh, Benny knows.